Talking about the new markets, I mean, um, the three main markets where wind energy is developing rapidly right now are Brazil, Mexico, and South Africa. And most of the growth in the sector is from outside the OECD. Now, Brazil will double their total cumulative installed capacity this year, going from 3.5 gigawatts to 7 gigawatts in a single year. So I'm hopeful that by, in another four or five years, I can show a similar chart to the one I showed for China, where it won't be so dramatic. And they're not doing it um, particularly for industrial development or job creation. They're doing it because it's the cheapest way to generate electricity. At the same time, there are other markets emerging across Africa now. I mean, Ethiopia was the leader in sub-Saharan Africa. South Africa will pass them this year. Large new projects in Kenya and Tanzania. Africa's largest wind farm, 300 megawatts, came online this year in Morocco. Tunisia has a small but vibrant in industry. Egypt, the potential for wind energy is now uh, back on the table, and they expect to have somewhere between five and 7,000 megawatts installed by the end of this decade. That's going to be challenging now but uh, it's possible. At the same time, we have uh, new projects uh, uh, in Ghana, in Senegal, and Sudan. And then, of course, there are other, plenty of other smaller markets in Asia. The one that we would expect to maybe potentially take the biggest jump uh, in the short term is Vietnam. We're still waiting for what's going to come out of this new agreement, which is going to give us the opportunity to be incentivized in order to fulfill the potential and help the governments meet their goals.